Koski for dietsinreview.com and with me today is Edward Ugell. Ed is the new the author of the new book I'm with Fatty. And Ed, I love this title. Thank you very much. It's uh, for a lot of people I think it's probably a little forward. I mentioned it to someone at dinner last night and they kind of went back. Uh, how did yeah. you come up with the title I and convince everyone that it was okay to use that? You know, it's funny. I uh, every day that goes by, I'm less and less convinced. Um, <laughs> you know, I I actually love the title, but it is. It's a very polarizing word, and to see that word on the cover of a book, and I just sometimes I imagine people sitting on the subway or a bus and almost feeling like they have to cover it up, like you if it was a porn magazine or something. Um, you know, it's uh, it's. I think it's a play on words, but it's also sort of there's this persona that you develop as a heavy, funny guy, where you make jokes about fatty, and um, and so the title really sort of is saying, I'm with this, like, I'm stuck with him, mm -hmm. and uh, and trying to find a way to live, I'm sorry, trying to find a way to live with uh, with him for better or worse, and so it's, uh, yeah, but it's a, it's a unique title, I'll tell you that, and it definitely, people have a reaction to it one way or the other. Well, I think weight in America has become a really polarizing issue, and you have to really be careful how almost, you know, the way you, you know, call out a certain race or even a religion, I think people are becoming more and more careful how they use the words overweight or fat or heavy. Are you finding well, that to be true? I think very much so, and moreover, you know, um, I'm the father of two young daughters, and uh, we are very sensitive to those words, you know, we don't use the word fat in our house. That's a bad word. And that's something that we're really trying to teach our daughters. And then I have this book where, you know, the, you know, daddy's new book is, is fatty. And there's a lot of explaining that has to go on there. And it's something that I hope that over time they'll understand that it's, you know, that the one person I'm calling fatty is myself rather than someone else. But, you know, the way that our country talks about people who are overweight or obese, it is uh, a very difficult thing to say properly. And um, I empathize with that. And I, I hope that the book is startling, but in a, the title of the book is startling, but in a good way. And, and once people know that it's a self-effacing title, that uh, we get a bit of a hall pass on it. Right. Well, the book is kind of a personal memoir, weight loss memoir of yours in which you go and you know, work to lose 50 pounds in 50 weeks. And this wasn't just for funsies for you. You really were in a life and death situation with your weight. Yeah. You know, it, uh, first off, the book, it couldn't be less of a how-to. You know, it's, as I've said in, in interviews in the past, it's sort of almost a how not to. This isn't, you know, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor. I'm just sort of a guy. I'm every man. And, uh, I, you know, this is very much a memoir. This is about my experience doing this. Um, I hope that other people have lef less of a rocky road. Um, I also hope that other people are, uh, you know, take something from the book that is that is of value. But, um, yeah, you know, for me, it was a difficult year. It was full of fun. But like a lot of my life, it wasn't a one-way street. It was full of highs and lows. And, you know, my relationship with food in general, is full of very high highs and very low lows. And, um, you know, I didn't want to turn food in this book into the bad guy. It's really not. You know, um, I love food, and I have so much, I know it sounds kind of hokey, but I have so much respect for food. I, I like to think about it and talk about it and read about it and watch TV. And, you know, cooking for me has brought so much pleasure into my life that if, uh, if I were to vilify food and cooking... Um, that would be a real lie on my part. And so I tried not to do that um, and sort of show this on both sides of the, of the equation. Well, it's, it is a very funny book. And like you said, it's very self-effacing. And I think it's very real. And what I, what I really appreciate about the book is that it's a male's perspe perspective. And weight loss and dieting has always been kind of the woman's front. And I like to see, like you said, just kind of an every guy taking on the topic and showing that, you can still be a guy, but it's okay and appropriate to be healthy and to lose the weight and, you know, to be around for your family. Um, well, absolutely. You know, I think that I, I'm not the first male to have 
issues with his health or his weight or, frankly, issues with his body image. Um, but interestingly, I think I'm one of the first people in a while that is writing about it and, and talking about it so openly. And I think that that, that isn't to my, to my uh, credit as much as to our collective detriment, that mm -hmm. things hadn't been like this in the past. You know, men do have images with their body, and body image is actually a very serious thing. Um, you know, for me, I know that it's been something that I've sort of an albatross that I've carried around the better part of my adult life, or actually since I was an early teen. And I I'm not that unique. I'm not the only person in town who feels that way. And I think that it's refreshing to talk about it from a male perspective. And frankly, you know, I've heard wonderful comments from men who have read the book who really said, hey, you know, you were in my head. And frankly, I've heard great comments from women too, but it's nice that men are, are reading something that is sort of written not so much for them, but if you will, by them. Um, it, it's, 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 I think it's been a refreshing change from the typical sort of diet memoir. Right. Were you nervous to go out there and share this very personal story? Petrified. I mean, I uh, I was on the Today Show last week, mm -hmm. and they opened up the Today Show with pictures of me at my heaviest with my shirt off. Um, talk about standing naked and facing your demons. You know, I, I write at length in this book about the fact that I uh, wasn't, you know, I'm not comfortable taking my shirt off really anywhere. And so all of a sudden to put that on national television and to be sitting here and speaking about it openly, yeah, it's a real gut check, excuse the pun. But at the same time, there's something actually quite liberating about it. And one of the reasons that I wrote the book is that this has been this monkey on my back for so many years that I think that by talking about the monster in the closet, it perhaps makes them not so scary and might even show them for what they really are, which is just shadows. Right. Um, so since I have been writing, and especially since the book has come out and I've been doing interviews and seeing the reviews... Um, it's actually made me feel a lot more confident about my body, not just because I lost a chunk of weight, but because I feel like once you've talked and you've given people an open and candid, honest story, um, I think that it's a very, people have accepted me and I've accepted me, forget about people, but I've accepted me a lot more than I used to. And that's something that has happened of late that has been a real wonderful byproduct of this book. That's very important, especially for you know your your daughters that you're modeling for. That's a really important. Absolutely, and and, and well, on the one hand, the title of the book gives me pause when I think about how my daughters will know it as they grow older. I think that really what I'm trying to do is to lead by example. That it's okay to talk about your body, and it's okay to talk about food and your difficulties with it. Um, but moreover, I hope that when they're old enough to read the book and get it, if you will, as, as, you know, as it was intended to be read, um, I hope that there, I get some credit from my daughters for putting myself out there and chasing the sort of dreams that I have and, and wanting to be a writer and so writing about things that are important. I hope that there's a level of inspiration that my daughters get out of this, which is far outweighed by um, what might be in sometimes an awkward title. Right. Well, I think, like I said, I think the title I'm with Fatty is absolutely captivating, and um, I think it's, I love that it's just, it's a real story, and it's not another expert, you know, espousing all of this information that, you know, we are supposed to know and supposed to follow. It's real people with real weight, weight loss and real problems, and, and finding real solutions for those, so um, I think it's great that you've come out with this. I'm curious how you're doing with maintenance. That's always almost sure. trickier than the loss itself. How is maintenance for you? You know, it has been trickier than the loss. It, it's, uh, it's been real tricky. And don't forget the book I finished this year, about a year ago. And so I ended this journey um, about this time last summer. So then I've had a summer to sit around and edit and eat and tweak and edit and eat and gain a little bit and lose a little bit and of course in the build up to the book's release I wanted to look at my best but it's also you know one of the things where I don't feel that I look the best that I've looked in 20 years but I look like me and I'm trying to be comfortable with that and to be uh, comfortable in my own skin as far as the maintenance goes right after the book 
Well, right after I finished the year, I ended up putting about 10 pounds back on and have been fighting that 10 pounds ever since. Um, you know, of course, I wish that uh, that 10 pounds was elsewhere. And of course, I wish that my jawline looked a little bit more pronounced. But I guess one of the themes and the lessons of this book, I think, is that even if there were 10 fewer pounds on me, I'd find something else to worry about. Exactly. And so in general, however you look, if you look your best or your worst, I'm trying to be comfortable with how my face happens to look that day. Well, the fact that you've said that you know, you're know you happier with your overall body image and self than you have been before, I think speaks volumes. And that's, you know, as long as you feel healthy, I think that, that says a lot more than what the scale says. So thank you. Absolutely. Well, it's called I'm with Fatty by Edward Ugell. And it's definitely worth picking up and, and reading. So whether you have weight to lose or not, it's definitely a great kind of just human interest piece. So for dietsandreview.com, this is Brandy Kosky, and thanks again for speaking with us today. Thank you, Brandy.